I'm Breakfast Television traffic reporter Stephanie Henry, and I've got a question for you. How far have we come in the automotive industry? Well, I would say quite far. We're seeing more and more semi-autonomous vehicles hit the streets, but the real question is, what do those vehicles look like? Well, on the outside, they look like any other car, but it's all about the tech. Some of the features in semi-autonomous vehicles include backup detection, blind spot detection, and adaptive cruise control. I went out with Ford Motors on a closed course and tested out all of those features, plus collision warning and auto brake. Let's do it 30, 35. Okay. Do I, oh, so I don't have to do anything, just no, nothing, start going 30. Go 30, 35, go ahead. Good, you have a 30. I'm scared. We're going on 40. Release, ah, release. release. It's okay. Release. There okay. You okay. There you okay. Go. Now you can break. Wow. You see? Yeah. Okay. I said 40. I'm you saying got 40. about 40. <laughs> okay, wow. That was great. But with the rapid advancements we're seeing in the automotive industry, are consumers and drivers ready for this kind of technology? There's been technology creep in vehicles for many years. You know, it started with anti-lock brakes, and then we went from cruise control to adaptive cruise control, which keeps you a certain distance behind a vehicle if you're coming up to it. Whereas the old cruise control, you'd just run into that vehicle if you didn't turn it off. And when you combine all of those features together, you don't really need a whole lot more than that to get a highly automated vehicle, which approaches fully autonomous, but they need to be mindful of how easy it is to become dependent on the technology and complacent. When you go to change lanes and you signal, if you don't have the blind spot warning come on, you think you're okay. Well, no, you should still look over your shoulder and check. It's unclear when we will start to see fully autonomous vehicles out on the street, but CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, did say earlier this year that he's hoping to get that technology ready by the end of this year. Stephanie Henry, City News.